She could feel the bile rising up from her stomach. This was an accident, right? Why was it in a blanket? She can feel tears stream down her face as she cradles her newborn. It was fine before the nurse came to take away her baby. What had happened in the short time, she was away from her baby. As she looked down at the blanket, she knew nothing would ever be the same again. Before we begin, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell for more amazing videos. It was a happy day when Lorraine discovered that she was pregnant. She already had a small boy named Caden with her husband Chad McDivitt. She knew exactly what to expect this time around. But when Lorraine took a look at her baby from underneath the blanket, she couldn't believe what she saw. She felt her stomach flip. This wasn't happening, not like this. Lorraine had always dreamt of being a mother, so when she married her romantic companion Chad, she couldn't wait to start a family. After her firstborn, she was so happy to hear that she was expecting a second. Caden was her whole world. She had so much love to give and was ecstatic to start showing it to her next child. But she had no idea what was about to happen. When Lorraine's water broke, she knew what to do. She'd done this before. She stayed calm and got in the car while her husband took her to the hospital. She wanted it to be less stressful labor than her first one. She was ready for this. But she could have never prepared herself for what was to come after the delivery when she looked down at her baby girl and saw what had happened. There weren't any complications of any sort during Lorraine's pregnancy and birth. After six hours, she gave birth to Everly, a beautiful baby girl. She was healthy and Lorraine knew her son back home would be over the moon. Chad was equally ecstatic. He called their family and excitedly explained the news of their new baby. But he spoke too soon. It seemed that their life was turning out perfectly. Even though she had just gone through labor, she fought off the fatigue to continue holding her child. She looked at her husband, her daughter and her son. It's all she ever wanted. But Lorraine would be quite surprised for what was next in store for her. It would flip her world upside down. More and more people started flooding into the hospital. It was Lorraine and Chad's friends and family. They wanted to see the newest member of the family. They laughed ecstatically as they saw the beautiful baby girl who spread joy throughout the room. Lorraine even joined in on the fun, as tired as she was. But she could have never foreseen what would happen next. The family was already addicted to looking at little Everly. They all loved this little girl, but then Lorraine's aunt told her that her child needed changing. The nurse came in and took Everly away to change her. Lorraine had no idea that things would be different when she got back. Lorraine did not have the strength to change Everly after the intense six hours of labor that she had gone through. She was just too tired. The nurse smiled and left the room with her child that wasn't even a single day old. Lorraine wasn't feeling too good about the situation. Something just felt off about it. She had no idea that her intuition was right. After a quarter of an hour passed, the nurse came back with Everly. She handed her back into her mother's arms and left. But as she left the room, Lorraine could have sworn she never saw her mouth curve into a smirk. This smirk wasn't one out of joy, but rather one that seemed more sinister. And what did she have in store? Cuddling her new baby, Lorraine noticed that Everly was tightly wrapped up in the blanket. She could see her dark eyes and thin hair peeking out at the top. The nurse was obviously good at her job. However, Lorraine had no idea what was lurking inside the blanket. With more and more family members arriving at the hospital wanting to cuddle and feast their eyes on baby Everly, many members were disappointed to find out they couldn't really see the baby aside from her eyes and thin hair. They told Lorraine to unwrap the blanket and let baby Everly out so they could get a closer look. Lorraine agreed and then she started to unwrap the blanket but she had no idea what was coming. Lorraine was more than happy to show off her baby. After all, she was a cute little thing and she knew how much her elderly relatives would swoon at the sight of Everly. But as she unwrapped her precious baby, the smile on Lorraine's face faded, and what she saw left her feeling sick in her stomach. Everly was wrapped so tightly that Lorraine found it hard to unwrap her. The nurse who cleaned up Everly had purposefully tightened the blanket. But why? This whole situation should have been a beautiful and poignant moment, but instead, it turned out into something unexplainable and unimaginable. 
Lorraine was finally able to untuck her new baby from the very tight blanket. With everyone eager to see the face of her new family member, Lorraine felt all eyes on her. Finally, baby Everly was free from the blanket and Lorraine was ready to show her to her aunts and uncles her face. But as Lorraine unwrapped the baby, she soon realized that there was something else inside the blanket. She felt sick. Lorraine was frozen in her tracks and her face went as white as a ghost. This had to be a joke, right? She tried to scream for help, but the words wouldn't come out. She was too focused on what she just uncovered in her baby daughter's blanket. She holds her baby in her arms while a shiver crept up her spine. This was so too much. She started to scream and the laughter and cheer that filled the room came to a sudden halt. What had Lorraine found? As worried family members huddled around Lorraine and baby Everly, they were focused at what was going on. Why was Lorraine shrieking? The baby was perfectly fine before the nurse took her and changed her diaper. What had happened? What did the nurse do? While Lorraine had tears falling from her eyes, her partner Chad was surprisingly calm. He kissed his girlfriend's forehead and reassured her that everything was fine. But little did Lorraine know that Chad was also in on this foul plan. With Lorraine's shrieks getting louder and louder, confused family members suddenly caught a peek at baby Everly's attire. But it wasn't the same one she was wearing before getting cleaned up by the nurse. The situation started to get seriously suspicious. What had happened? Lorraine knew she had to find out the truth. And that is when this devoted mom finally uncovered the mystery that left her feeling sick. She was lost for words. Without a second to waste, Lauren wiped the tears from her eyes and picked up baby Everly. She lifted her in the air, showing fellow family members her outfit. As people peered over, they suddenly witnessed something that would never leave their minds. For a second, the truth had started to unravel in front of eagle-eyed guests and worried family members. As soon as she lifted little Everly, people grasped at what they saw. It was Everly's onesie, and it had something stomach-churning on it. What exactly did Chad and the nurse do? Seeing the strange thing on baby Everly's onesie, Lauren knew she had to look inside the blanket to find out the truth. Whatever was hiding and lurking inside, Lorraine was about to uncover it. When she discovered the truth, tears dribbled down her cheek. But Chad, her so-called Prince Charming, had another surprise waiting for her. Chad looked at Lorraine straight in the eyes and simply muttered four words, Will you marry me? Lorraine was lost for words. She could feel excitement burst from her sore body. She immediately responses with a loud yes. But what was written on baby Everly's onesie? With family members witnessing the proposal and everyone excited about their engagement, many wondered what was written on the baby's onesie. Lorraine picked up the onesie and with a big smile slapped on her face, she revealed what was on the onesie. Mommy, will you marry daddy? How cute! Chad's proposal had been there all along.